In this video, we are going to use Excel to calculate confidence intervals for the variable drinks per month. Now, first of all, let's take a look at the data. The data only has 20 students, which is a small, very small sample. Therefore, we use the t distribution and we use the formula like this one um, for the very small sample and its confidence intervals. So in order to calculate the confidence intervals, confidence intervals, we, ha we need to have the mean, sample size, standard deviation, and the alpha level. Okay, first of all, let's set up the alpha level um, at point, let's say, point 0.5. Okay, now the second one is going to get those mean and standard deviation. So therefore, you need descriptive stats. Click data, data analysis, go into the descriptive stats, click OK, select drinks per month. Make sure you check the labels in the first row, click the summary stats, OK. Adjust the cell for better view. Uh, we will have the mean 17.25 we have the standard deviation 9.52 okay we copy and paste those two into our cell so on the another side on the right side um we need to calculate whatever here. It's called the margin of the error. Now, you have two ways to do that. Traditionally, you can using the table, the T table, to figure out the T alpha and calculate this one, um, the margin of the error. But Excel gives you a fast way to do that. So to do calculation, um, you need to put somewhere, let's say, let me put here, margin of the arrow, okay, so equals to confidence, since we are using the t table, we are going to use a dot t, and it will ask us to select the alpha level, which is 0.05, the standard deviation we have is 9.52, the sample size we have is 20. Press enter. Okay, that's the margin of the arrow, which is part of the um, right side. So if you want me to make it bigger. Just make those bigger. Now we can calculate the confidence intervals. Okay, we have the upper we have the upper limit, which is the mean plus the mean plus the margin of error. So that's equals 17.25 plus 4.46 we have the lower right that would be the mean still equal the mean 17.25 minus 4.46 so that's the upper and the lower So the question also wants you to interpret the confidence interval by using a plan language. Okay, um, so the plan language is very easy. We have the upper and the bottom, so we can estimate where the population mean is. Okay, so there is a ninety-five percent 
chance that the true population mean lies between 21.71 and 12.71. Remember this is something we're using on um, alpha level at 0 0.05. Okay? So what if we use the alpha level at 0 0.01? So again, the difference is that we calculate a different margin of error. Let's do the alpha level at 0 0.01. So again, the margin will equal confidence dot t we will have the alpha level and 0 0.01 standard deviation we have 9.525 and also sample size 20 okay. what do we have is a larger margins of arrow now we calculate the upper the upper will be again the mean 17.25 plus this margin of arrow 6.093 hmm. we also have the lower that will be the mean 17.25 minus uh, 6.093 okay that's a new upper and a lower so for this one how do we interpret that it's a uh, it's the same right the difference is that we have more confidence to say that we are right our guess that where the true population mean is a more precisely than before. So there is a 99% chance that the true population mean lies between 23.34 and 11.16. That's it.